and, and this is Hitler, right? Hitler had to, you had to have a Hitler to commune with the spirit of the Aryan people. Yeah. Who knows what the Aryan wants, except, unless you have a Hitler. And really, this goes back to Plato, to link this up philosophically, to the idea of a philosopher king. The whole idea of Plato's philosophy is that real knowledge, the truth, is unknowable to most, to, to all of us, right? Yeah. To, the common person is living in a cave, he sees shadows. Yeah, yeah, this is his yeah. cave, uh, cave <clears throat> mm-hmm. and that the philosopher king actually sees the sun, he sees the truth, yeah. the world of forms. So when, when we see a chairs and carpets and everything, that's not real reality. Mm-hmm. The real reality is in a different dimension. And then you need somebody who can not reason his way to that other dimension, but through some form of revelation, yeah. get that knowledge and then, com- then communicate to all of us. And that's why in the Republic, you're ruled by philosopher kings because they're the only ones who have real knowledge. Now, all Hitler, Lenin, Stalin are, are, are in a sense, fill-ins for the philosopher king. Now, think about Christianity as well. What's a pope? A pope communes with the world of forms, God, yep. and he tells us what's the truth. So, as long as Plato rules, and I think Plato very much rules the world we live in, yep. We, we tend towards authoritarian models, we tend towards collectivism, we, 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 we undercut the argument for reason. The beauty of Aristotle, his, Plato's nemesis ultimately, historically, is that Aristotle says, no, each one of us has the capacity to reason, each one of us has the capacity to know reality as it is, yeah. and therefore each one of us can be our own master. <coughs> we can guide our own life, we don't need philosopher kings to tell us how to live. Mm-hmm. We can, we can know reality and, and therefore we know what's good for us. We know what kind of government we want. We can therefore elect a government. So it's the rebirth of Aristotelianism, in, particularly in the Enlightenment, which, is, which gives us kind of the, the, the capitalist, the free... The sort of self-confidence. Yes. That's the, that's the thing that I think yes. has really been lacking recently. And I, I find it really bizarre as well because with, with the advent of the internet, my God, if, if you think you can make something happen, then you have every tool you will ever need literally at the, the end of your fingertips. Absolutely, but think about the heirs of Plato. Mm. The heirs of Plato in my mind today are the, post, are the, post con, uh, the post-Kantians, yeah. ultimately the postmodernists. Mm-hmm. And the, what are the postmodernists teaching our kids at every university pretty much in all? Reality doesn't exist. Yeah. Your mind is impotent and futile, mm-hmm. so why even try? The only, the only comfort you can get is by joining your little racial or ethnic group, yeah, whatever. So, so whatever the group happens to be, but you somehow when we're in a group, we have knowledge. How are we going to get that knowledge? Well, we're not, so we're going to just have to go to our philosopher king, the professor, or whatever, and he's going to give it to us. And it's not in this world, because again, this world doesn't exist. They t- so it, what we're seeing is a recycling over and over again throughout history yeah. of Plato's ideas in different guises. And they are <laughs> destructive to exactly individual confidence because if you lose confidence in your mind, if you're told that reason is impotent, you're dead. You're, you're finished, right? And, and that's, that's the key, that is the rediscovery of reason, the rediscovery of Aristotle. The, 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 and, and, and until we have Aristotle, in a sense, anchored in our humanities, mm-hmm. and until we reject the postmodernism and, and everything really since Kant, and, and I know you've, you've, uh, you've kind of uh, read Dominus Parallels. I you, have. You, I've, I've read Kant. Yeah, I've and read, you've read um, Kant. So, yeah, I've read a lot, to be honest. Yeah, and, 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 and it all changed from Kant to Hegel to Schopenhauer to Marx to, to ultimately to Nietzsche to Heidegger and to the, to the Foucaults and all the ridiculous postmodernists. Yeah. It's Thanks, all Charles. one chain. Yeah, and it's all one chain. In, it, it's a, just, just variations. Of, uh, on, on Plato's spin and what Kant does is he modernizes <clears throat> Plato and he makes him seem more sophisticated mm-hmm. but it's still the same stuff and, and until we reject that we're stuck I tell you, the, the-